Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. All right. Yo, 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 yo. This is Games and Graphics. We are back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And today we are going to be installing the Urban Life Ultimate Rim Pack inside of our 5M server. That's right, folks. We are going to be streaming this whole Rim Pack to our 5M servers. Now, of course, um, when you get to this page, you want to... Oh, by the way, this uh, is made by Icemax, Don Gotti, Ali, um, yeah, Alejandre, uh, Yanti and Leo okay these are the creators shout out to the creators man they did an awesome job on this pack right here when you get down to this link you want to scroll down and always read the full description after you're done reading the description you want to come over here where it says current okay whichever version that it is on at that time it will say current and you want to select the green arrow to download all right now let's go ahead and jump into the requirements for this in order to install this to our server we will need our, a server first of all okay so in order to have a server you're going to have to have 5m installed we are going we are not going to be installing 5m today i will leave a link down in the description to a video showing you how to install 5m and also how to create your own server so if you don't have 5m or your own server please go check out those links in the description so you can have everything all set all right so once you have your urban life ultimate rim pack downloaded and you have your 5m installed and your server ready to go on my left hand side i have a folder which is when download and that download is urban 4.0 that's what it's going to say when you download the urban ultimate rim pack all right and on my right hand side i have my server opened up this is my uh, directory for my server right here and uh, what I want to do right now is go to my resources folder. Okay, let's open up your resources folder. Inside your resources folder, we are going to create a new folder. All right. So right click with your mouse, select new and select folder. All right. And with this new folder, we are going to name this rims. All right. You can name it rims with a small case, uh, lowercase r or capital R. It doesn't matter just going to name it rims for right now okay now that we have that all set let's go ahead and open up that folder that we just named rims all right inside that folder is going to be empty what we want to do now is create another folder and name that stream now when we name this stream we want to make sure that all the letters are lowercase okay so you want to have it look just like mine's stream all right after we do that, let's go ahead and right click with the mouse and select text document. Okay, we want to create a new text document. All right, we don't need to name the text document now. All right, so we can leave it just saying new text document. Now let's go ahead and open up that new text document. Once you open it up, it will be um, a window that will pop up. All right, what you want to do is click file and then select save as. All right, and then uh, this window will pop up a browser window. You want to come down to where it says file name and you want to type in the same thing I'm typing in right now. You want to type in underscore twice. OK, so make sure you type underscore twice and then put resource. All right, so you want to put underscore twice, spell resource and put dot L U A. All right. Once you have done that, go right underneath where it says save as type and then select all files. So you want to make sure you have it just like mine's underscore twice resource dot Lua save as type all files and then select save. When you select save, you can exit out of this text document that we had open. And if you look back now, you should have a resource Lua file okay so from this point we can go ahead and select the new text document and erase just the new text document all right so now inside of our rims folder we should have our stream folder in the resource dot lua file okay so now what we want to do is open up that stream folder that we created and we're going to leave it right here all right now let's go back over to our downloads where we had our urban 4.0 uh, rim pack let's go ahead and open up that folder 
inside that folder is going to be another folder let's open up that one now you are going to see a folder a readme and then some loose files okay all these files right here is going to be our our rim files right here okay so this is what I want you to do I want you to press control a control a will highlight everything now while you're still pressing control hold control down and then deselect the rim pack folder in the readme okay so we want to select everything in this folder except the first two items all right so as you can see you want to make sure you have all of the other files highlighted except the first two now that you have done that keep holding down your control button on your keyboard and you're gonna grab drag and drop right into your stream folder that you just made while holding down control while holding down control that will automatically copy the files from the original urban will pack folder to your new stream folder as you can see I still have my old files here and here is my new copy files okay so that's exactly what you want you don't want to take all the files and put them over there you just want to copy them now that that is done we could um, go back inside of our uh, server just press the back button press it again and go back to your server directory okay when I mention server directory that is going to be in the same area that your server CFG file will be in okay so that's what we're gonna open up right now open up your server CFG file inside that file what we want to do is add the resource to our resource list okay so as you can see inside of your server cfg file you are going to have a list that you have with all of your resources okay so you want to scroll down to the bottom of that list and you just want to add in the name of the folder we just created which was rims so capital r i m s all right you um, also want to you want to type in start or ensure. It depends on how you have your server CFG hooked up. Okay, I have mine hooked up where I start all of my resources with ensure. The majority of people use start. Okay, so once you have um, everything entered correctly, like I have right here, go ahead and select file and save. All right, file save, and then we can exit out of our server CFG window. And from this point, we could go ahead and uh, minimize this window right here. Now, before you run your server, always make sure that you run Steam first, okay? Got to run Steam first. Open up your Steam, and you can just exit out of that window. Now, you can go ahead and uh, make sure that your cache folder is clear. And you could go ahead and run your server, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and run my server, and I will see you in the game. All right, once you spawn into your server, what you want to do first is, of course, um, spawn a car in. All right, so um, I'm just going to spawn a regular car. Actually, I'm going to spawn a truck. That way we can see these rims a little bit better. Um, <laughs> yeah, truck ain't that big, but yeah. Let me make sure my music and everything is off right there. Uh, okay, music is off. Okay, let me back out of that. All right. So once you spawn the car, um, you're gonna need some type of trainer or menu. I'm gonna use simple, uh, simple trainer for right now. Um, you wanna go to vehicle options, um, vehicle mod menu, and you wanna access the wheels. Okay, so whatever trainer you're using, if you're using V menu or Lambda, uh, you just wanna go to the wheel section where you can access the wheels. Now you notice where I'm at, I'm on a change wheel type. You wanna change it to uh, Benny's Bespoke, okay? That's the ones you wanna have it on, Benny's Bespoke, okay? Once you have the wheel type changed to Benny's Bespoke, go to wheels and there you go. Just start changing the wheels and you will see that the rim pack is right there, all right? So you got um, everything from one all the way to, I think about 80 something, 86. So you got like over 80 different rims that you could install. I mean, that you could use, they're already installed. So there is about 86, 86 total, okay? 
um, 86 total give or take a rim or two that uh, is missing all right but you have over 80 rims man you see what I'm saying how it's like you know give or take one rim that's missing but you still have 80 rims y'all man shout out to Osmax and the rest of the crew man for making this wheel pack man dope 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 all right so um that is how you stream your wheel pack to your 5m server and everybody can access the rims also um yeah you're all good to go so um if this helped y'all out folks or if you just enjoyed the video go ahead and smash that liz like button for your boy definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with your friends that are in a modding gta 5 y'all this is games and graphics i am out of here till next time I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.